I ended up selling majority of my apparel. And what I'm going to do over here is pack up my Funko Pops. And then the hat. I'm going to be taking, of course, this guy right here, Manny Pacquiao. And I got some friends coming over, see if there's anything they want to pick out of. So I'm excited about this. I'm so thirsty. Good thing I brought some water. Ah, that was good. All right, they're here. Really good news. I am excited just getting out the office here that the 19th is the last day to get out of here. It is the 11th and I, I'm not going to be paying any more of my storage unit. So, wow, it feels like it's my birthday right now. So I got some stuff to donate and then I'm going to head over with Caesar, head over to my friend Caesar's and going to meet up with them. Dos de fresa? Dos sprinkles? Uh, dos de chocolate con sprinkles también? Sí. 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 You ever just think of random things like when stuff like it happened, like your nose itches, you're like, I wonder what that means. Growing up, coming from a Mexican background, born and raised in Texas, claiming Mexican, that's the way I was raised. Don't want to hear nothing about it. But everything like my tias would say, my aunties would be like, oh, you dropped a fork. Somebody's talking cheese, man. Are you going to have a visitor? Oh, there's a dragonfly. That's your relatives thinking about you that I passed away. Oh, your ears are burning. Somebody's talking cheesement. But it was always those people talking about other people while they're talking about people talking cheesement about them. <laughs> I have an order that just came in that I listed uh, less than a half a day ago. So it sold for, uh, it sold with an offer. This right here, you need to look out for. Very good brand. The jeans, the jeans do okay. But, let me see here. That was like the third time. Um, this John Vervados, when I first seen this at the thrift store, I saw, like I felt the material and the color doesn't look like it's very dark and red on a semi-dark color, blue, black, gray like this. Doesn't pop out, but what stood out, it's going to be this name right here, John Vervados. Oftentimes, even on the jeans, you'll see like the three stars. This is a size large. I listed this about two days ago and it just sold. This sold for, sold for $20. Very, very good sell. I'm going to pack this up, go drop it off. For the past couple of months, I've been off and on with cardio. Although I don't exercise or haven't been exercising in the past like I used to in the past, all right? And now that I am, I told Carla, I was like, you know, you keep telling me to do cardio and I could run my butt off. I could run for miles and I could have a really good pace and I could push myself, but it takes forever to actually, for it to feel like an actual workout that I needed to go back to lifting weights. That that does a lot of good. It helps tone me up. I feel like I... I put in a lot more and get out a lot more from my exercises and weightlifting from it being like a full body, chest, shoulders, back, legs, everything. And um, now it's like, I feel good. I still have pains, but I, I can work out a little bit better. And weightlifting for me is the best way to go with certain things because some things on my back, like my arthritis and my sciatica, on my back though like it compresses down and I feel like I want to release so I do a lot of stretching now and I'm eating a lot better 
and I could already feel it on my waist. So right now I'm like around a 38 and I want to get down to less than 36. I know the weight's going to come off eventually, but I just want to feel better. It's really what my goal is. I'm going to be dropping off here in a moment. King of Prussia, PA. What? I, that sounds like out of this world kind of place. Uh, King of Prussia, PA. Philadelphia? Philadelphia? Is that PA? Anyway, sold for $20. I paid like $3.99 and that sold with shipping. Whew. My goodness, it is so freaking hot. 115 degrees. Feels like my my face is melting. Ugh. Can you imagine like just passing out and then now you're laying on the hot freaking cement? Ay ay ay. Art of resale. I'm expecting two other packages and they haven't come in yet, although it's showing on tracking numbers that they've already been delivered. All right, time to get my mind out the gutter and into the gym. Workout, good pump, good exercise, good time, coming out feeling amazing. Let's go. Whew. At least there's AC inside this place. Goal is really nice. Did a nice chest and back workout and then finished with the shoulder workout. That way my top looks perfect for camera, photo, photos, videos. Now everything under what you see from the camera, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Made my way over to Target, and I like that they have a nice uh, canopy type tent there for the employees. Cause I was wondering on the way over, is like the last time I was here, it was freaking burning, and it still is. Look at this, a hundred and nineteen freaking degrees. Ugh. I've been working more from this morning, and before I went to the gym, I stopped by my storage unit picked up or dropped off the order earlier but i've been so in a hurry i'm trying not to get overwhelmed although i'm freaking excited about finishing up my storage unit it was a great idea and i was doing good for a moment but the more i kept working on figuring things out and following through with ideas i started seeing that i could do much more with less and sometimes less is more and for right now i do got more stuff in my truck and i'm going to be filling my truck up with maybe another load or for sure another load and um what did my wife say oh my wife texted me i guess the proof of whatever order she has which is why i'm here at target she has me picking up something for her anyways yeah i started to realize i could save and do more and want to do more from home rather than commuting back and forth and worrying about like storage unit fees and then insurance hold on carlos calling me i'll get right back Carla was sending me a screenshot of the code and I think that just might be one of many orders that this person is going to be dropping off. I hope they are staying hydrated. These people, they are working hard, just even walking, looking like mosey on in the sun. This heat is not a joke. I used to work in this heat when I worked security for the win and I used to work at a stand in place for hours at a time. And I remember it being so hot, my stomach would turn. Yeah, I believe this is for me. We got Carla's stuff and the time is 4.09. Isn't that like a cleaner or something, 4.09? Well, I know for a fact that we need water for the house. So before I head home, Walmart isn't too far from here. So I'm gonna pick up a couple of cases. One of my favorite waters, bottled water, is Pure Life by Nestle. You need a card, man? Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Let's go in here to Wally World. Is there anybody else but me that calls this place Wally World? 
ever since uh, I've been a little mocoso kid running the streets of Texas when there were dirt roads back in our own town, which there still are, but now there's paved roads. We used to call Walmart, or still do, we would call Walmart Wally World. Oh, here it is. It's my favorite water right here. No. Two and three. I don't know why, but I completely forgot that I've been wanting stuff for coat sandwiches. I freaking love coat sandwiches. I try to get away from them and I want to go back to them. I really don't care that they have all this other stuff in there. I'm just going for taste because now that I'm working out, it evens out and I'm not going to be strict on myself. It's always harder to put things back. So I'm going to leave it there. Oven roasted turkey breasts. Let's go with turkey for you turkeys. All right, in my thrifting videos, which this isn't, I always get people getting after me because I don't put the flap down. And I, I find that to be funny because I've never had anything fall through those little flaps. And I get it, it's just precaution and you, people care and concern. But these little flaps can piss people off. <laughs> and some people don't care about it. And I feel like I'm not clumsy, but there was a time in my life where it was like, I couldn't walk by any table without spilling my own drink or somebody else's drink. I have, I came over here because Carla likes one of these breads, so I'm gonna FaceTime her because she's been trying to get it in the last two times we've come to Walmart. It has been sold out. Thankfully, I came over here and I wasn't just thinking about myself, which I never do, not really. Um, this is the one Carla likes to go for, this bread. She usually eats it pretty good, pretty fast. And I know she likes these little cherry type grape tomatoes. And there's some, you could smell them. This smells like a really good, this one smells really good. And then she said avocado. So let's go look for some avocado. She said the harder they are, the better because she, her teeth are like pretty much metal. All right, I just went in a circle and I do not see avocados. I might have to go to La Bonita, which is a Mexican grocery store. Oh, look at that. They got, oh, they got Cosmic Crisp over here too. Oh, these are honey crisp. I think some of y'all mentioned these here. They are. I knew I wasn't seeing things. They got cosmic crisp hiding under there. Hmm. Avocado. Where are you, avocados? Where? Oh, where can the avocados be? All right. I was joking about them being as hard as possible, but I ended up finding some that were like harder than this wood and this plastic combined. It feels like they are armored avocados. I ended up calling Carla and she said, go ahead and get these because she lets them sit out anyways. And I think that's like the norm now is that veggies and fruits and things are picked early. And I think this is it for now. So let me go paper this and get the hell out of here because it's getting hotter outside. Yes, I am one of those that always puts the cart up. Hi boy, good morning. You're just chilling down here by yourself? Huh? Oh, let's take these off. You're just chilling down here by yourself? Huh? When are you gonna give me belly rubs? Don't don't fall down. You always scare me. I always think you're gonna roll over. I think Tip has only rolled off a of bed like twice. <laughs> One time I actually like flinched and I kicked him off. And he just laid there. <laughs> I don't think I'm the only person that's ever done that. Hey, boy. Lately, he's been really clingy to me. Uh, the other day, I wasn't feeling good, and I think he sensed it. He's a pretty good emotional support dog. But I think we're more like his emotional support humans. <laughs> we need each other, huh, boy? Yeah. Yeah. He likes ear rubs. Oh, yeah. He starts to do this little... Some weird breathing. All right, Carla should be getting home in about 20 minutes. Washed the dishes all last night, but I am um, been really getting on the ball with things. And I love when I'm at this point because it just ends up being like, whew, like self-motivated, wanting to self-encourage, self-inspired. And I love 
that I'm getting out of ruts that I felt mentally and emotionally. Things don't have to be bad to feel that way. People don't have to say anything to you. You don't have to watch a sad movie. And for some reason, you could still have like the best of days and still feel like you're in this plateau that a funk that you want to get out of. And I think, <laughs> I think it transferred over to tip. Still look like a carrot. All right. What's up, everybody? What is going on, everybody? What are you doing today? What are your plans for the week? You hear a lot about me, but what about you all? I hope you have some fun plans, big or small, doesn't matter. I hope you have a lot of fun and make really good memories. I am all about feel good, doing good, and learning something. <laughs> Um, Carla wanted her Switch. She's been playing more and more often with the new Animal Crossing that she got. It's funny because I bought Carla a Switch and then she ended up giving it to my nephews out in Twin Falls, Idaho. And I couldn't believe she did that. I, I am not one to give gifts, but she said, you know what? I think they really need it. And it being my nephews and my niece... I'm like, fine. But if it was like to an adult, like my brother-in-law, I'm gonna give it to him, I'm gonna be like, oh, hell no, have him get his own. But for the kids, different story. This switch reminds me that I have a PSP handheld game console and games, I need a list. So I'll be doing that today. I need to research how much that sells for. I got a big sale that came in yesterday. I got an offer for $90. It's something that I ended up buying at the Salvation Army bins. I maybe paid around $2 for it with everything else that I got. I feel like next time when I go to the bins, I'm going to have my own bag because the cart felt very heavy. And from what I ended up taking out of the cart, didn't feel like it should cost around 40 bucks. But either who, I'm already in the profits and this one gets me more into the profits from things that I've been selling there recently which hasn't been a long time frame of that recently because it's been about two weeks so in about that time frame i ended up selling this denim gap this is a product red denim jacket this is the one that i showed photos of on the inside having like this print which got my attention and then when I opened it up, because I was curious of what else was on the inside and if photos like that would matter if I shared and if it captured my attention, I wanted to share it. And on the inside, it gave me more information to share in the photos and also dates and information. And for something to have things like that, it did make it feel to me like it had more value to it. I had it listed at $125 and some have sold for $140. And for something for around $2 for it to sell for 90, cha-ching, winning. I have a couple of orders that just came in and I literally just had one along with this thing right here. Um, this is not the one that sold, but I had the other one right next to it at, at, at one moment in my hands and I don't know where I put it down. I've been moving stuff around and it must have just slipped down into a pair or something getting ready for Sunday's whatnot auction at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific. And then I have already scheduled as well a knickknacks auction uh, of glass. So whatnot Sunday is going to be apparel, hats, toys. Knickknacks Monday at 6 p.m. Pacific is going to be glass. Nice, shiny, beautiful glass. I may throw in some other things that isn't shiny but still glass. So stay tuned for that. I'll have that information in the community tab. But I have some hunting to do for the other item that's like this. So stick around for the next video to come up. But the other item that's sold is going to be this vintage Lauren Ralph Lauren glass type of vanity powder bowl. Or you could use this for like cotton balls or cotton swabs to put up inside there or whatever you want really in there. Um, but very beautiful pattern. This is a turtoise. See, I, I pronounce it the way I read it, but it is pronounced tortoise i learned that in the community chat in my thrifting video on the other channel it is 121 right now time is creeping up on me i am going to hunt down the other item that sold you'll see in the next video 
and we'll see about getting more cells in until then to show you and also what I got going on. So very productive last two days. I'm very excited about it. Oh, and I am definitely going back to my storage unit today to get some more stuff loaded, which isn't much left that I'm going to be donating and things I'm going to be bringing back here to the house. So I got to clear up things in my office to get that in here because I don't want to just toss it in the garage. And then we all know how that went in the past. It was just a headache. Several stuff on this weekend and on Monday, some auctions. Stay tuned for more. Go shop around, see what you may like for yourself or for a gift. I'll see you again soon in the comments and you see me again soon with more updated videos.